Brunel came here to the Temple of Philae, which is about three or four miles south of Aswan. He came here in a wooden boat because his iron boat couldn't pass up through the cataracts. And in front of you, 500 meters away, you'll see some posts in the water. That was the original site of Philae Temple. It's been moved 500 meters to the west because the Aswan Dam has flooded the Nile and extended it to about a, over a mile in width. But let's just stay over on the original site because Brunel liked it so much here he said, we selected a quiet spot under the temples of Philae. And there was a poultry yard conveniently positioned for the travellers. And we know there were rich tourists here because on top of this temple, there's people's graffiti. They've scratched their names into the stone, telling us where they're from and what year they were here and their names. The poultry yard, Brunel says, is on the sandbank where fowls, pigeons and turkeys are walking about loose and, like all animals in this country, perfectly tame. Yes, they walk up and catch a pigeon to be killed when you like. In the midst of these and of the small birds, which always walk and fly about us, have been walking for hours this morning, three or four large eagles, who, with the politeness peculiar to animals here, pay no attention to our fowls, nor do they to the eagles. But here I am entering into the anomalies and contradictions of Egypt, which would fill volumes. As the camera turns to the right, you'll see one of the temples of Philae, which is called the Kiosk of Trajan. And before it is the Temple of Hathor on, in the mid-ground there. And as the tam as the camera pans towards the right, behind me is the temple of Isis with its pylon. And behind that you've got the colonnade of pillars and the temple of Imhotep. There are thousands of tourists here this morning. And it would be ideal to get a picture video from the entrance to the temple, but there'll be so many people around that fortunately I've got a ticket that takes me onto the roof and I'm the only one here. Now the Brunels had a life of luxury. They were amid rich tourists of the mid 19th century. And we'll pan the camera and we'll finish the video to show you <laughs> why this temple was moved by UNESCO. Many temples, at least six, have been moved. And the reason is, is because you've got the original Aswan Dam. I think it was built in 1912 by Russia. Widest dam in the world at its time. Further south from here, about two miles, is the massive high dam, which I think was built by Britain around the 1960s. So it's created this massive lake, hence this is the first temple that I visited that's been moved. But it's been moved in such a consummate way that you wouldn't even know it's been moved. Obviously all the stones were numbered, catalogued, photographed, and this site was chosen so that the temple would remain for posterity.